Florida Sunray, right you are. The markings, warnings of the dangers of swimming that had faded. So he jumped in not knowing just how risky it was, according to this lawsuit. It was back on August 22nd, Miguel Cisneros drowned after jumping into the Lake Michigan waters at Toby Prince Beach Park in the Rogers Park neighborhood. Today, his family is suing the Chicago Park District, claiming his death was preventable due to its negligence. Nothing will bring Miguel back, but I mean, the life rings are a little too late for him. But if something good come, can come out of this tragedy, then like my middle child, Joel said, at least his death is not in vain. Witnesses say the St. Ignatius College Prep graduate and soon to be sophomore at New York's Columbia University immediately started struggling once in the water and began pleading for help. But there was no life ring or flotation device, period, and no swim ladder like at other park district locations, and there were no markings alerting the public of the dangers of the pier. In the wake of his death, his family launched a public awareness campaign to force the park district to install life rings there and at similar locations along the lakefront. Mary Lightfoot agreed with the Diaz family, and the park district is now working on a multifaceted safety plan and will install life rings at Pratt Pier other staffed locations like beaches and park district designated areas along the lake. Today's lawsuit alleges that the park district, though, was made aware of the risk. But in the words of its attorney, Timothy King, who was on record, was according to the lawsuit, from April of this year, that, quote, we just determined from a legal standpoint, the best thing to do right now is nothing, because that is the only way we are not to take on the risk of liability, protect the public body, unquote. Neighbors had put life rings there, but the district removed them. Today, the pier has warnings that no swimming is allowed, but the family's attorney says that's too little, way too late. A Park District spokeswoman offering a one-sentence response to that suit today, quote, the Chicago Park District has been served with the lawsuit and will not comment further on active litigation. Perfunctory. Unquote. From the newsroom, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Rain Lord is back to you.